So let's start with what exactly a GAN charger is. GAN stands for gallium nitride, which is a material that was first used in the 90s to make LEDs. The main benefit of this technology is that it produces less heat, which means that it is more efficient and also less prone to exploding or having any sort of other issues related to heat. And it also allows components to be packed in closer to one another and as a result reduces the overall size and footprint of chargers. Napoleon. The first thing that would strike you about the Napoleon is the overall compact size and unless you have seen a few other GAN chargers before, you would be surprised to learn that this can output a maximum of 65 watts. There are two ports, a Type-C1 and a Type-A which are Power Delivery 3.0 and QC 3.0 compliant respectively. It's worth noting that the maximum 65 watt charging output can be achieved when you use the USB Type-C port exclusively. If you connect a device to a Type-A port, then the max output from the Type-C port goes down to 45 watts and you get 18 watts from the Type-A port and this is the maximum for a Type-A port regardless of whether you use it alone or along with the Type-C port. I wish that it had two USB Type-C ports that would have allowed for faster charging of the secondary device as many devices or at least phones don't necessarily need the 45 watt max speed that the single Type-C port provides. This setup works well if you are in a scenario where you're using say a Dell XPS 13 along with an iPhone and this can replace both the 45 watt charger and the 18 watt charger that you otherwise need to carry for both separately. Slightly over 120 grams in terms of weight is pretty light and the overall size is roughly half of what you see on a similar 60-ish watt adapter from Apple for example for their laptops and the only downside that I find is that it attracts dirt quite easily owing to the finish on the plastic material. There's another alternative on the market in terms of a GAN charger with a similar price point which comes with a slightly different sort of design and I've been using this alongside as well but I wouldn't suggest it as it doesn't always begin to charge and you have to play permutation and combination with the cables before you manage to get all the devices working on it. When it works, it works but often you'd be surprised that the next morning to see your devices have not gotten charged. Luckily the stuff cool one was ever dependable and has now replaced the IEDS charger at my bedside table as well. And also worth noting is that it's more compact than the other charger and while speaking in terms of volume they may be similar, the Stuff Cool Napoleon has a more practical and compact design with a much stronger wall pin. The charger also works between 100 and 240 volts and that means you can use it pretty much anywhere around the world. At 3,900 rupees, it's slightly on the more expensive side for a charger, but then again, it's pretty new technology and that's always at a higher price, especially when you're getting higher levels of convenience with it. Thanks for watching this video. We'll leave a purchase link in the description below. See you again in the next one.